tell me this was a video. It said poker of record. Like now we're using high tech video cameras. Hi, I'm Mikaela the Hood with Bill Van Gilder. He's going to teach us how to make the best burger at Jubilee Restaurant. How are you today? So, here at the Jubilee, we, we serve a 7-ounce uh, burger. Uh, it's important with our burgers that you start with a good fresh ground burger, never frozen. Uh, we use a 20% fat content. It gives it just enough flavor uh, and keeps it juicy enough. Anything less, I feel, gets a little bit dry for my taste. Okay. This might be different for people at home. And anything more, you're going to find that the burger shrinks a lot. Okay, what kind of beef are you using? Uh, we're doing a, a ground chuck okay. uh, with, uh, I think there's 20% brisket content in it. Oh, wow. Which is, again, something that people do at home in their own kitchen aids and things like that. But that's our blend here at the Jubilee, and it's fresh, uh, never frozen. Uh, and we do ours on the flat grill. I know some, some places char grill them. Uh, we do a flat grill. And that's okay. just been uh, in our 51 year history at the Jubilee. That's always the way we've done it. Great. So let's cook a burger. Let's start grilling. Start with a quality bun. Brioche, uh, I'm not a fan of sesame seeds. Some people are. Uh, those are great options. We use a nice light uh, brioche uh, bun here that we toast great. at the Jubilee. Okay. It already smells great. What stuff are you pressing it down? Uh, that is a meat weight that kind of, okay. for us, speeds things up okay. uh, for cooking. We don't want to waste too much time uh, when the customers are waiting up front. It does take some time to cook a burger that's about three quarters of an inch thick. Okay. Uh, so it does take some time with that. Okay. So some uh, some toppings uh, that we regularly use uh, are caramelized mushrooms, nice. or grilled mushrooms, caramelized onions, uh, Swiss cheese. We do a nice hot pepper bacon jam okay. on our burger uh, with arugula that adds a little bit of pepperiness to it versus uh, just the regular lettuce. Uh, we also we get a little bit crazy if, for some people, but we call it our Billy Burger. Okay, what's that? Our Billy Burger is topped with our smoked shredded pulled pork, okay. uh, barbecue sauce, and melted cheddar. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a super popular burger. I think anymore the rules for burgers don't matter, just like the rules for wine don't matter. Uh, you basically can put anything on a burger okay. that you're thinking of. You want to put jalapeno poppers on there, uh, mac and cheese on your burger. Uh -huh. Everything from a traditional Italian burger with uh, bruschetta or melted mozzarella, pesto, uh -huh. you name it. And then even combinations of mayo. We use a red pepper mayo. Uh, we also have a, a chipotle mayo that we use on a couple of our burgers. So any mayo and any kind of ingredients you have at home is a great combination for a good burger. You don't always have to go with your standard mayo and mustard. Not at all. Or just ketchup and pork. Absolutely, you know. Uh, just if you any and any kind of veggie grill can end up on your burger, okay. which is awesome. And then at home, you make a nice kind of spread of uh, different toppings for that burger. Now, um, if you happen to have a grill outside and you use your grill, you can grill your vegetables just like you said, and other things too, right? Exactly. Burger. One of the big things is you let it do its thing, okay. meaning that let it cook. Don't mess with the burger too much. Okay. Because you want that first layer to be a nice caramelized, crisp kind of uh, seal in the flavor. Is there a way that you can cook it too fast? Uh, absolutely. So okay. what we have here is a weight over our burger, and that does speed things up. Uh, but you don't want to press and push it too much. Okay. People talk about an indentation on the center of your burger, right. and that's good. Okay. Uh, but you definitely don't want to push it too much to squeeze all the juice and life out of the burger. Now, have you ever found a really strange request for a burger? Oh, uh, that's, a, you know, probably this, I don't know if I've gotten a, that many crazy requests for a burger because I think the limit uh, is so, there's so many options now, okay. I don't think it's too crazy for many. Okay. You know. Uh, Chicken finger burger. Oh, <laughs> anything. I mean, burgers don't always, burgers don't always equate to just uh, hamburgers. Chicken burgers, turkey burgers, uh, meat alternative burgers, there's, right. even, there's even like, uh, the, a meatless burger that cooks like a burger okay. uh, that's available now on the market. And so we do a Chipotle black bean burger, uh, we do a turkey burger, we have our ground beef burger uh, as well. All great options. And what do you think is the best uh, temperature or what do you get? I'm a meat. Well done or? 
I'm a medium rare guy. That's okay. what I think it adds. It, it's a, just enough of the right amount of heat, the right amount of juice that's left over without drying out the burger. Okay. Some like it rare. That's not my thing. Some like it well. That's not my thing. Okay. So medium rare uh, is is a good is a good okay. temp to start. Okay. This is a, a hot pepper bacon jam. Oh wow! You know, I think uh, bacon good bacon uh, goes good with pretty much everything. So yeah. it's a jam. I'm a big bacon fan myself. Uh, with a little of arugula. Oh, that's nice. Here. And it's even better when it's hot pepper bacon jam. Mushroom switch uh, hot pepper bacon wow. jam burger with arugula. It's a good burger. Uh, it's awesome. Great. I would make this one at home. Wow, I really like it. Cool. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much. Try the jalapeno bacon with Swiss cheese burger and mushrooms. Oh, and arugula. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so juicy. Mmm. It really tastes good. Yeah. It's not just spicy, but it's so yummy. Oh my god. I really like that. Thank you, Billy. I finished my jam burger. It is available for $11, and it comes with either soup, salad, or sweet potato fries. Yum, yum. <laughs> Thank you.